Typically a student that comes to Balga Senior High will have had quite often some challenges within their life. Our aim is to see them exit at year 12 with the skills to manage themselves uh, independently and, and make a life for themselves. We are a very diverse community and we call ourselves a global community because uh, the 57 different nationalities and uh, then we have a program for Indigenous kids catering for 110 students that come from Perth and all regions of WA. So the philosophy of Balga is to engage students and to engage students first, uh, they have to be happy if students have got personal challenges which are, are not met or they don't have someone to talk to about it, they're not going to learn or concentrate very easily. So addressing those issues for the students where at least they feel, well, someone's listening to me, they're connecting me up with an agency that might be able to solve it, another staff member that might help, uh, they're giving me time and showing that I'm here for you, then uh, you'll be a lot happier as a student to engage in the learning program. Belga Senior High School attended uh, one of the first Level 2 planning workshops that we offered in WA at the start of 2008. In fact, they brought um, a large contingent of staff, which was quite amazing in itself, being able to release nine staff to come to a two-day planning workshop. And they spent two days really um, embracing the Mind Matters um, Level 2 planning model, where we get schools to look at what a whole school approach to mental health means and get them to reflect on what their school context is and what they're doing to promote mental health in their schools. Belga grabbed the implementation model with both hands and they said, well, we're doing these things under ethos and environment, but we also recognise that we need to support the families. So in the partnerships and services part of the Mind Matters model, we look at family and community partnerships and we look at transitions. So Belga actually, during the workshop, already started developing some action plans about reflecting on their school context of what they're already doing, what's working well, and and, um, collecting some data. The great thing about my matters is you've got the guidelines and you can interpret those guidelines and make it fit your school and that's what we've done. We've, um, we've worked on their guidelines to suit our outcomes for our larger and wider community. Uh, welcome to our third forum for our migrant parents about the West Australian Certificate of Education. If interpreters could explain that to your groups now, that would be good. When you consider what a whole school approach is, Belga is looking at their ethos, balancing that with what they're doing in their teaching and learning programs and their pastoral care. And they're also then looking at how they link with their parents and their families. Mr. Sambawat here is asking a question. He's saying, uh, I want for Mr. Rod, to clarify about the age issue, considering the background of most of the IEC students. Uh, the clarification of the age of the students coming out of the IEC, I have students... That requires a lot of flexibility of our staff within their programs uh, to be able to give those kids the opportunities because to work with that diversity and become knowledgeable about a global community uh, and that's a very powerful thing that, that we build upon. This is a school that's actually implementing a whole school approach to mental health 
and wellbeing, you've got strong leadership that's not only just looking at providing opportunities for teachers and students, but it's also encouraging um, staff leadership to take a project on and run with it, and, to, and student leadership, so they're empowering not only themselves, but their own communities. When a student starts, for example, learning English in the Intensive English Centre, they might have one to two years. We encourage them to stay on in transition programs, which still has a much higher literacy focus, depending on what their own aspirations are. Uh, once they get to the senior school, we have most kids succeeding to the next level of education or work after year 12. Typically of our 50 odd year 12s that leave, you might have three to seven kids going to university, 20 odd kids going to TAFE, and uh, the rest would find work uh, or further education or apprenticeships and, and traineeships. So uh, very little dropout rate when we get the kids to the year 12 stage. And, and I think that's because we have uh, uh, such great scaffolding of that support uh, right through which transitions into the senior school years as well. I think what the pastoral care and wellness team are doing as well as the leadership is looking at all of those pr programs from a holistic point of view about how they improve the mental health of their students and how they create that sense of safety for students when they come to school. So they've facilitated and allowed their staff to attend professional development in a host of social emotional learning programs. So there was very much that if our students have these needs in this school, then we're going to do everything we can to, to match them. So we go engagement first, what do you need to engage? Well, you've got to be happy, feel you're supported and content. Then our aim is to see them exit at year 12 uh, with the skills to manage themselves uh, independently and, and make a life for themselves. I reckon it's good because like there's um, teachers always there for you to help you. Like um, if you want to get to uni, TAFE, work or anything like this, you just have to go to them. This school really suits me because yeah, I achieved what, whatever I wanted to do. Like um, now I can speak English, I go to work like on Thursdays and Fridays and I still come to school and yeah. Everything has been really, really good. I think maybe, maybe as, as I don't speak good English, feel a bit nervous, always quiet. But now I can speak something out because of their help. 